I knew what ominous hour this was in Nosgoth's history. For here was the event that had shaped my entire existence. I had cast my fate, refusing the sacrifice, damning the pillars, and founding my doomed empire upon their ruins. I would raise the Salafan priests to be my closest lieutenants, and would one day cast the strongest of them, my servant Raziel, into the abyss, dealing one last hand to play against fate. But in the end, had it made any difference? Had I misread the signs, as Mobius told me, in my arrogance, had I missed my cast at destiny? It is a small price to pay for Cain's death. You're a bit premature. Cain! Is there a crack in your omniscience after all, Mobius? First, your omniscience, and now your power. 
Lucas. You're slipping badly. This is not possible. The part of me that staff affected is no longer in its place. But you already knew that, didn't you? I always was considered heartless. And now, Mobius, it is time to kill me. Again? Your only solution for every problem. Kill! This is not a debate. You see, this time, you have nothing that I want. <laughs> you would think this will matter. I serve one who has power over life and death. Then go to him. His obedient, his devoted servant. Soon, all pain will fade, and my master will bring me life once more. Master, my apologies. A momentary oversight. Somehow, Kane still lives, but has unexpectedly dispatched me. Make use of your good servant, and <coughs> go to your master, then. I will release you to the wheel. <coughs> God, do you see it now? A monster that you served. Is this what you imagined when you worshipped? Something has changed, hasn't it? You didn't foresee Cain's return. You have both traced your paths along the wheel. This is where the journey ends. You haven't the means to kill either one of us. Ah, but you can be stopped. And you will come to understand how oblivion can be a mercy. You and Cain will spend eternity buried here together. Pray merciful release of a death that will never come. But I was armed with newfound knowledge, and it burned within me. Redeemer and destroyer. Mobius had never seen his master until the soul reaper purified his sight. Even the ancient vampires had no idea. this round of existence, leading distracted, blunted lives until death returned them, always in ignorance, to the wheel. The coin is still turning. But what hope have there been? One cannot fight the unseen. Only then will the sign of balance be armed for his true endeavor. Despair, Raziel. There is no escape. What I am for. The two 
so robust together and the style of balance is healed and I am not your enemy not your destroyer I am as before your right hand your sword now as you Citadel of the Apostles will become your living tomb. Your words are hardening. <laughs> For you would not fear us unless we could truly do you harm. No!
of your kind will be purged from this world, and on that inevitable day, your wretched, stagnant soul will finally be mine. In the meantime, you'd best borrow deep. Now at last, the masks had fallen away. The strings of the puppets had become visible, and the hands of the Prime Mover exposed. Most ironic of all was the last gift that Raziel had given me. More powerful than the sword that now held his soul, more acute even than the vision his sacrifice had accorded me. The first bitter taste of that terrible illusion. <laughs>